let's jump into this. So a long while back, I actually did a review on this Frontier Max by Aquamira. I'm not particularly happy with how the video comes out, came out, and definitely I heard your concerns. So today we're gonna to be revisiting the Aquamira Frontier Max. And sadly, I don't have the water bladder, but I'm gonna be rolling in footage from when I use this and explaining how and when this is used. Okay guys, so to start off, this is the actual filter itself. This piece right here, this is just my Camelback uh, tube that's usually attached to, but this is the actual uh, unit itself and how this is designed to be used, as I'm showing, is usually in conjunction with a water bladder and <clears throat> and it's used to be an inline filter with a water bladder, particularly the uh, Geiger rig water bladder because you can pressurize it and that helps push the water through the water filter. Now, my experiences with this filter have been overall really well. I don't have any negatives to it. However, the largest drawback I have with systems like the Aquamira Frontier Max is water bladder inline filters in general are not something that I'm particularly keen with. They are very important in my opinion and I carry this as an emergency backup in case I'm ever out in the field and I have my water bladder and I need to actually drink you know dirty water such as pond water with uh, my water bladder. So this is an important system to have however the reason why I primarily save these for emergencies is because I don't like the fact of dirtying my water bladder and as I'm showing in the footage I don't so much mind dirtying it with something like river water that's primarily just silt that's causing the dirtiness but when we come to backwoods pond like this I don't really like using the water bladder because you get algae, you get bacterial growth, and you get stuff that you have to really scrub and clean out of your water bladder every time you dirty it and use one of these filters. So I save this primarily as an emergency filter, but I do like having it in case I do need it for the water bladder. So that's where the most of my use has come from. Now it is pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to use. It's pretty self-explanatory. Essentially, you know, you just hook this up to this, you put this up into your water bladder and you know, you just start sucking on this end and it pulls the water through. And honestly, it is pretty easy, even without the pressurization that a Geiger rig would offer. However, the Geiger rig does make it really effortless because of the pressure. So that is the Aquamira. Now one, advantage I do like about this system, in addition to it being a really good emergency use system, it is also a really good system uh, because you can use it like a life straw. And <clears throat> if you have to, this thing does work in the same way. You just want to be mindful, of course, of your flow. And it does have a little flow arrow on the actual, um, on the actual filter itself. But you can take this and, you know, put this end in the water and suck on this end. Or how I would probably do it myself is attach it like this, put this end in the dirty water, and you can just suck it up with, you know, your hose, with your hydration bladders hose. So it makes it a lot easier and actually more convenient to use than something like the Life Straw, because the Life Straw is basically a system that looks like this, and you know, you have to get really close to the water and, you know, suck in the water. So it's nice to actually have a system that's like this. And I really love this thing in emergencies and in pinches, it comes in really great and really handy. In addition to all that, it is also very easy. My favorite thing about this filter is it is very easy to clean out and it's also very easy to uh, replace. So unlike the other two water filters that I'm gonna show here, where basically once the filter is shot, it's shot, this thing uses this carbon uh, filter here and you can actually just yank these things out and take this, put a new one in like this, seat it in, yeah, seat it in, and then just screw that back over, and you have a good water filter all over again. So I really like the ease of use and the ease of maintenance on this uh, water filter system, and it is very much appreciated. So talking about some of the specs, I mean, it is a water filter, so it's pretty straightforward. However, you can get, or these do come factory from the factory with a chemical resistant filter. So not only is this going to filter out any bacterial growth or anything like that, it's also going to uh, filter out any chemicals. So if you are drinking from water that has gasoline in it or oil in it, 
or any type of chemicals in it, this will help protect you from that as well. So that is another nice thing to have and a nice thing to know about the Aquamira Frontier Max. So anyways guys, that's basically the straightforward of this uh, water filter. It's great and it works very well. It's very self-explanatory, but just letting you guys, bringing it back on your radar and wanted to redo a review that was a little bit better in my opinion. So anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless.